There is a grassroots effort underway to get a COVID vaccine approved for children under five. It consists of parents and doctors and scientists who are appealing to the FDA to greenlight Moderna's mini dose for kids. Drug company recently released data showing its vaccine can help prevent infections in young children. All right, Richard G. COVID shows us how it's offering a glimmer of hope for parents who want to get their families back to a more normal routine. Sherry Forrest is a mom of a two-year-old boy and four-year-old girl. Since Omicron hit, Sherry hasn't ventured out much since neither one of her kids is able to get vaccinated. I just don't want it to be too fast, but I am ready for them to get it. Sherry's kids, along with millions of others under the age of five, are still waiting for their COVID shot. Moderna, one of the leading drug manufacturers responsible for getting shots in arms this past year, says it's happy with the results from its vaccine trial on young children. There has been always a push back and criticism that things are being rushed too soon uh, in this pandemic, uh, vaccines in particular. Last week, Moderna claimed that two shots of their COVID vaccine reduced cases of symptomatic disease by nearly 44% among children six months to two years old and by almost 38% in children three to six. We're over two years into this pandemic and kids still are unprotected. Parents, scientists and pediatricians who represent the organization Protect Their Future are calling on the FDA to urgently release vaccines for kids under five so they can drop the mask and go back to living a normal life without having to fear getting seriously ill from COVID. We saw more children with the Omicron variant being hospitalized um, than with previous variants, so that was concerning to see. The FDA has a threshold for vaccine efficacy among adults. It needs to be at least 50% effective. The agency, meanwhile, hasn't publicly commented on Moderna submission, but doctors believe more data is needed before it receives emergency use authorization. Children are considered a very vulnerable population, so they really want to make sure that, you know, all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. On the Upper West Side, Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.